Good morning, my lovelies. I am, ooh, I'm really having a hard time not saying, I'm so excited for you guys to be joining me. It's just my go-to. I am thrilled you guys are joining me today. Since it is the morning, I'm gonna sing a little a little good morning song for you. This morning, is that all right? It's, it's a quiet morning song. It's not like our theater warm-ups we do sometimes to wake you guys up, but I wanna share it with you. It's one of my favorites. And it goes like this. Ready? zip a dee doo da <clears throat> I haven't woken up yet. Let's try that again. zip a dee doo da zip a dee day My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. zip a dee doo da zip a dee day Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. It's the truth. It's actual, everything is satisfactual. Zip a dee doo da, zip a dee day. Wonderful feeling, wonderful day. <gasps> All right, that's the end of my song. <laughs> so, <laughs> my my coffee is kicking in this morning. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do our morning devotional. Okay, and again, this devotional is from A Hundred Things God Loves About You. What a great way to start off our morning talking about how much God loves us and just spending time in his presence. I know that this season has been a great encouragement for me because sometimes I'm really rushed in the mornings and um, I'm trying to get ready, trying to get the baby ready, trying to get things, you know, eat breakfast, you know, get my coffee. That's really important for Miss Katie. <laughs> But sometimes we rush so much in the morning. We're so focused on all the busyness, all the things that we need to get done that we just forget that God's waiting to meet with us. He's made, waiting to meet with us and tell us how much he loves us. And how encouraging is that to, um, to be loved on by God, to be refreshed by his Holy Spirit, and for that to keep us going all day long. Oh, it's so good. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. This is day three. Okay, day three, all right, day three, here we go. So day three, we're talking about God loves you, even when you're frazzled and frayed. Oh, how perfect. I'm glad I didn't even read this before I'm sharing it with you guys. That's perfect for what we were just talking about. God loves you even when you're frazzled and frayed. If you have your, your Bible, we're reading in Matthew 11:28. Come to me. All you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Oh, I want to read that again. It's so good. Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Already late, and that tire couldn't be any flatter. Spaghetti sauce splashes. Spaghetti sauce splashes on your favorite shirt. In that date, well, yes, it was a disaster. When it feels as if your life is falling apart at the seams, run to God. Rest your world-worn and weary heart in His. When the computer crashes, when your patience is kaput, when it's simply been one of those crazy days, remember that God loves you, even when you're frazzled and frayed. Man. I, I had a day like that yesterday where Miss Katie let technology get the best of her and I had a frazzled and frayed day. And, and I love that, that verse and that whole devotional just because how good is that for us to remember? No matter what's going on in our day, no matter how crazy things feel, God is with us. He loves us. He's there for us to comfort us. So as you're doing your devotionals and you're, um, you have your prayer journal with you, if maybe you don't have a prayer journal, it could be a piece of paper. That's cool too. I just want you to spend time today um, before you go to bed. Or I'm sorry, this is our morning devotional. Before you get ready for your day, I want you to just spend time thanking God for how much he loves you. How no matter what happens today, no matter how crazy it gets, you're going to remember how good God's love is for you. So let's pray real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all of the students that have tuned in to this, Father. I pray, Lord, that no matter what happens today, no matter how crazy their day gets, no matter how stressful it gets, that you remind them how loved you are, I mean they are, and um, how good your love is, Father. How you're just waiting to put your love around them just like a blanket, Father. We thank you for your goodness, Father, your graciousness, and your patience with us. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. All right, guys, remember, tune in tomorrow. Love you all.